Hi, welcome back. Today, we'll design and simulate AC to AC regulator or we can call it as AC to AC controller, AC to AC converter. Okay, but it is commonly known as single phase AC voltage regulator. We call it as and you can see this. We generally use this in our homes to control the speed of fan light okay you can see that there are two anti parallel diodes sorry switches a two anti parallel uh, switches which are which we are using thyristors we can even use triacs okay which are also power electronic switch so the first switch that is t1 is used to trigger the positive cycles of input waveform and the second thyristor which is connected in anti parallel which is t2 here triggers the negative cycle of input as you can see here uh, triggering pulses are given IG1 that is gate pulses of thyristor T1 and IG2 which are the gate pulses of T2 the same concept of giving phase delay apply applies here also that is we will use the same formula for giving phase delay that is alpha by frequency into 360 degrees where alpha is in degrees alpha is firing angle this we use for t1 and for t2 we use same formula but in place of of alpha we use alpha plus 180 degrees divided by f into 360 okay so let us design in matlab and simulating as you can see i have taken the components required for making a single phase ac voltage regulator now make a copy of this thyristor and simply rotate this by control plus r okay it becomes anti parallel connect cathode to anode and anode to cathode rename them this is t1 and the second one is t2 and connect all the components as per our circuit diagram now you can see that i have connected all the blocks as per our circuit diagram and requirement now give firing delay firing angle that is phase delay to all the thyristor which is present period as 1 by 50 or 0 0.02 seconds or else you can write 20 e minus 3 and phase delay i am giving 30 degree 30 degrees firing angle as you can see here i discussed already in previous videos how to give firing angle press ok and to the anti parallel switch t2 you have to give same delay but with 180 degree phase shift that is 30 plus 180 you have to write press ok now take a resistance i am taking 30 ohms supply i am taking uh, let us say 220 volts and frequency 50 hertz press ok now click on run before clicking on run uh, change time as 0 0.02 seconds we will see for one cycle means one for one input cycle we'll see click on scope you can see that both in positive and negative half cycle uh, the waveforms are triggered at 30 degree firing angle you can also change the axis colors 
you can see that I have changed my figure colors to dark blue that is navy blue color now let us simulate for 60 degrees 90 degrees and 120 degrees and view its waveforms in one single scope okay now copy this whole simulink model and paste it okay we are copying like this because this is a uh, this is for 30 degrees this will be for 60 degrees this will be for 90 degrees and this will be for 120 degrees let's change the remaining angles let's change to 60 change only instead of 30 you have to change 60 and for 90 degrees change to 90 now let us view all the waveforms in a single scope as I have completed changing all the delay angles change the scope to uh, we'll keep 5 that is uh, first one for supply first one will be supply then 30 then 60 then 90 and then last 120 ok now take first input of the scope from voltage input AC voltage let us connect the first input of our scope as we have said we will take supply second we will see output voltage of 30 degree firing angle third 60 degrees fourth 90 degrees and fifth 120 degrees we will see with the waveforms for two cycles so take 0 0.04 seconds click on run and double click on scope to see the output waveforms you can see that the first waveform is supply voltage waveform second waveform is output load voltage at 30 degree 60 degrees 90 degrees and last 120 degrees okay you can also change the load for RL load you can see we will change 60 degree load RL will take 10 milli henry and 20 ohms we will take click ok click on run now double click on scope to see output waveforms you can as you can see how output voltage changes when we connect inductance in series with resistance that is we are getting extension angle beta that is negative voltage you can see here you can also zoom ok ok let's take a numerical problem and verify our circuit now we will verify our designed AC voltage controller by taking up any of the problem we will take 4.7 a single phase full wave AC voltage controller has a resistive load of 10 ohms B 5 ohms AC input AC is 230 volts 50 hertz delay angle that is alpha is 90 degrees we have to find RMS load voltage RMS load current RMS thyristor current and input power factor ok ok first we'll solve a bit that is load is 10 ohms AC uh, supply AC voltage is 230 volts RMS and 50 Hertz frequency and uh, firing angle is given as 90 degrees I have already changed as you can see here 90 degrees and the opposite as 90 plus 180 you have to write ok click on ok now to measure 
avare uh, rms load voltage or anything which is rms take rms block search for rms block connect it to voltage to to check rms voltage double click on it change fundamental frequency as 50 hertz this you have to check every time now connect a display to see rms voltage value now for rms load current we have to connect current measurement search for current measurement and connect it in series with the load okay now copy this rms and display block and connect it to current measurement as we have to measure rms current now for measuring rms thyristor current i have already explained in the previous videos how to select uh, uh, rms i mean thyristor current taking the mux selector mux selector block and selecting thyristor current now search for mux selector block connect it now double click and select only thyristor current because we are interested only in finding thyristor current as of now okay as given in the numerical now connect the same thing rms block and display to it okay now let us simulate and check our results click on run see that i have changed the simulation time to one second okay click on run okay i have got 162 volts uh, load voltage rms load voltage 16.21 amperes as rms load current and 11.49 amperes as thyristor rms current now let's verify it you can see here i have got the correct answers 162 RMS voltage 16.25 RMS current load current and 11.49 exact we got thyristor current RMS current now change the load as 5 ohms and check verify these results ok only we have to change our load to 5 ohms and click on run You can see that we have got 162 rms load voltage 32 amperes rms load current and 22.95 as thyristor rms current okay again we have got the correct answers k okay, and for power factor input power factor you can directly take inbuilt uh, matlab block is there called power factor block you can measure it from there itself Hope you understood the concept of single phase voltage regulator. Okay. Next we'll design three phase AC voltage regulator. Okay. Thank you.